Camera's rolling. Set of speed. Scene 69, Apple, take two. And action! We're here in Duluth. We're making a feature length horror film. A little bit lower of a budget, but it definitely isn't showing in the footage because uh, we have a fantastic cast and crew. I've been learning how to swap out the lenses, how the specific camera works. It's the Alexa camera, so it's um, known for a lot of the well-known industries, like in the Marvel industries, that's the camera they use. Today we're going to be shooting a couple really fun bar scenes. It's a little bit more uh, story building type stuff. Every time I walk through the upstairs, I always thought, you know, we need to shoot a horror movie here. Since we own the building, it's much easier for us to be able to provide a space within which to make all this equipment safe and bring in a bunch of people and shoot the scenes that need to be shot. All right, what's our ETA, everybody? It's a wonderful location, and our gaffer has made this bar look like a completely different bar. Yeah, we're going for a little bit more of a dingy, dirty look for that poor, grimy feel. We're shooting a night scene in the bar, so it's got to be dark in there so it looks like a night scene. Now it's starting to look like a nighttime bar at 3 p.m. I think the biggest challenge is time. 94 scenes in 18 or 19 days is hard to squeeze in. A lot of them are at night and overnight, so um, our hours are a little wonky. Some nights we're shooting from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. It's been great. I love Duluth. It's like a home away from home at this point. Our producers are from Duluth and they're uh, very big on wanting to build the community up here. Here we go guys, this is the one. Being able to bring a production like this to the Duluth area has been kind of a dream of mine and it's finally taking shape. It's a great place to shoot. And cut! Great job! Let's move on to the next shot.